Relax. Jane Optiman, welcome to Baraza Media TV yeah, studios. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to our studio. Karibu. Asante. Karibu Tukadari. Thank you. <laughs> wow. This wow. is Baraza Media TV studios. Okay. Yeah. Karibu Sama. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Karibu. Mm -hmm. Karibu. Hii ndio nafasi yetu. Yeah. Yeah. Go. So, so. Bonsoir tout le monde. Good evening, uh, my viewers, or good morning, or good afternoon from where you will be watching. My name is Jane Yoike, and I'm the host of the Baraza Media TV in Montreal, Canada. Welcome. And my co host is none other than Thomas. Please introduce yourself. Yes. Uh, how are you, everyone? Mimi Tazunga for Kiswahili, because uh, this week to Anazunga. Both the language and Kizungu na Kiswahili. 
So tutaka kumuzungumzia, tutaka kumuongelea pia kwa ki French lakini anasema <laughs> kiswahili <ki> French ni <laughs> <laughs> Lakini hapo so, kwa Quebec na utakuja uta kidogo. Yeah. Tunasema bonjour. Bonjour. Comment okay. ça va? Ça va bien. Mm-hmm. Imeanza kuja. <laughs> so mimi naitwa Thomas Ankara Mali ya Mungu Venus. Ni colleague wa Jenny Yoike hapa kwa hii eh, BMTV na tunafurahi sana kumpokea mgeni wetu kutoka eh, Kenya basi tutaacha nafasi kwake yeye ajitambulishe na mambo mengine yanaendelea. Asante. Thank you very much Thomas. Yes. We are privileged to have none other than uh, Jane Carrier all the way from Kenya representing Optiven Limited, the number one real estate company in Kenya, in Africa and now going global. Karibuni. Welcome. Uh, please introduce yourself. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Asante kwa ku ni host hapa. Yes. My name is Jane Carrier. I yes, I come all the way from Kenya. Uh, Nairobi and uh, I work with Optiven and uh, Optiven is a real estate company that has been in operation for 24 years. Oh, wow. And uh, 24 years in America, America 24. Mm-hmm. In fact, in fact, he mwezi, he mwezi ya September mm-hmm. to me celebrate mwaka wa 25, 25. Wow. Wow. Yeah, tulikuwa na tulikuwa na birthday yeah. ya Optiven this month. Nairobi September. Hapa? Yes, Nairobi hapa. Okay. Nimeona tu mapicha zime celebratiwa. So we are 25 years uh, of operation. Very good. In Optiven. Good. Mm-hmm. And we have uh, our captain Mr. Uh, Mr. and Dr. George Washuri. Okay. Who has been, you know, led us to this point and to continue and continue. Yeah, thank you very much. Wow, thank mm-hmm. you very much. Sasa Jane, you'll yes. take us through Mm-hmm. Now, first of all, how was your flight? Ulikuja, when did you arrive in Canada? Okay. And is this your first time? Yeah, definitely this is my first time. Oh, wow. And uh, I came on 15th of uh, August. Okay. And I've been in uh, Toronto, Vancouver, Toronto again, and now in Montreal. Wow. Wow. And I thank God for this opportunity to be traversing your cities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm, I'm, I'll be off to Ottawa on Sunday. Uh, okay. to meet Kenyans my purpose here is to meet Kenyans uh, and and even the even the uh, other nationalities who can invest in Kenya yes. because we have that door open uh, in Kenya that uh, a Kenyan can invest and an non Kenyan can invest mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we have opened that door so I would welcome everyone who who is a, who is an investor you know in heart and I will tell them that uh, Optiven helps Kenyan and non Kenyans to invest in Kenya and uh, our work is just to say to them fantastic yes yes yes, yes. oh bienvenue Canada karibu hapa Canada <laughs> merci okay mm-hmm. eh Jenny ninataka kukuuliza ume unakaribishwa hapa Canada asante sana na malengo yako kuja hapa Canada ni nini okay. na climate ya Canada umeiona namna gani na chakula hapa umeiona namna gani okay Umeipenda mm. ni kama ya nyumbani ama umecompare kidogo na ya nyumbani? Okay, nitaanza na malengo. Mm-hmm. Um, malengo yangu ya kuja Canada ni kwa sababu nimekuwa nikiongea na watu ama wa Kenya wa, ambao wako Canada mm-hmm. in um, hizo cities uh, different different cities yes. uh, za Canada zenye umetembelea. Zenye nimetembelea mm-hmm. na na zote zenye na hata zenye eh yeah, nilianza Toronto yes. nikaenda yeah. Vancouver okay. um, nikarudi Toronto tena mm-hmm. then ni, ni Montreal okay. and uh, the, the malengo yangu kubwa kukuja hapa ni kwa sababu tumekuwa tukiongea na Zoom mm-hmm. tukiongea about uh, how watu atawekeza mm-hmm. uh, nyumbani especially wa Kenya na already waka wakafanya maamuzi na waka waka wakawekeza waka mm-hmm. uh, hivyo basi nikakuja na hati miliki zao okay. wamewekeza kwa nini wamewekeza ni kwa sababu number one, mm-hmm. um, tuko na mizingi ambayo inafanya optiven ikue bado kwa market okay, okay. because uh, tu, 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 tu agree tu kuna companies zinaanza na zina 
kupoteza mwelekeo. Na, na tukirudi nyuma kidogo mm-hmm. sister Jenny, mm-hmm. eh, nikusema ya kwamba eh, nyinyi kama Octave yeah. mnafanya nini? Exactly. Na malengo yeah. imekufanya ukuje hapa Canada ni nini? Okay. Yeah, yes. what is Octave? What is Octave? Yeah, for those yes. who do, for our viewers yeah. who they, they don't know Octave. Octave. So yes. could you kindly Take us through what is Optiven. What is Optiven? Yes. yes. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Now, Optiven is a real estate company okay. operating in Kenya. Okay. And now I have said we have we are 25 years. Okay. And it is 25 years of positive impact. Okay. And this this can be felt uh, by Kenyans because we have over 70 uh property that are, that are, that are, you know they are completed or pro- projects that are completed we have over 10,000 happy families wow, wow. we have settled them mm-hmm. and we are now continuing and that is our work au ni wengi au ni wengi na kazi yetu kabisa bado inaendelea yes inaendelea na kazi yetu ama malengo yetu kwa hao wa Kenya ni to make sure they are settled okay uh, they are settled not just uh, sell lands but they are settled so our work is to settle Kenyans in Kenya and beyond and that's why we are here in Canada. Yes, yes. So could you mm. kindly okay, explain to me mm-hmm. explain a little bit further. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, assume my colleague here. Yes. Thomas wants to to purchase a piece of land. Yes. How is the process? All right. Yes. So in fact we have a, we have that process in okay. Optiven ukiingia tu kwa ofisi ya Optiven utaona the purchase process okay. because it's it's not as it's not like a sweet where you will just take some co- can, uh, you know a dora a coin dora you go purchase a suite and then you no 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 this mm-hmm. is this is a land and this is a future so it has a process so for example we have uh, we have our representatives we call them uh, uh, property relationship managers okay. and you have your relationship manager like Jane you have Jane Carrier as your representative uh, uh, or your relationship manager mm-hmm. and you have identified a property in Optiven. okay now this is the process okay we will go do, to do something we call a site visit all right okay okay if you are here in montreal and i am in kenya and you are not in kenya mm-hmm. we will request you to send your representative I will take that representative to the site visit of the project that you have chosen. Okay. We we'll go there, we we'll take videos, we we'll take a tour. Okay. Until you are able to say you are okay. All right. After that, we will we will request you to book or to pay uh, your down payment. Mm-hmm. Most of the time uh, our properties we say 30% okay. of the of the plot or the property you have right. Okay. So And 30% then, of the principal. Yes yes okay. 30% of the of the whole thing all right and um I will send you something we call offer letter all right offer letter this is just for our legal department mm-hmm. to 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 have your details right like next of kin like KRA number like your ID your name your email address your number you know your whole information yeah yes and this will produce a receipt of the down payment mm-hmm. that you have done. Okay. After that, our legal department will send you something we call a sale agreement. Right. What have we agreed? Mm-hmm. What terms have we agreed? Right. And maybe there I can talk about um installment. Okay. Have we agreed you pay cash? Have you agreed you pay in installment? Because we have some other properties that we have installment up to 12 months. Oh, very okay. good. So mm-hmm. this sale agreement mm-hmm. will say what we have agreed, right. what you have agreed with the company. Right. After that, now you the sale agreement will say how much you'll be paying every month. Mm-hmm. Or if you are finished, uh, you'll be sent a congratulatory message, mm-hmm. and you'll be asked to send your transfer documents, uh, your photo for you for the tra- title deed to be transferred to your name. Right. From Optiven to your name, but if you are doing installments, then you send that amount that you be paying every month. Every month you pay. We have so many um, way of, ways of payment because mm-hmm. depending with the country, mm-hmm. you have mode of payment. Right. So and you you pay you be given uh, a receipt by our, our finance department. Okay. They are they are quick like that. When you pay and it reflects your receipt on the way. So after that, 
we'll wait until you finish paying. If you're doing installments, again, we we'll request our, we have a department called documentation department. All right. Immediately someone or a client finishes to pay their um, property, right. they will send you a congratulatory message oh. saying congratulations for, uh, the for, for completing yeah. <clears throat> your payment. Mm -hmm. And now they will ask for your uh, photo, you know, the passport photo right. and other documents just, just to start the transfer process. Right. Yes. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. we want that plot or that uh, pro, uh, title deed to to read your name. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, it will come from optimum name mm -hmm. to your name. And after that, we call you. Um, after the title deed is out, we will call you to the office. And when you are here, we will bring like uh, the title deeds I brought here for 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 uh, Calgary, for Toronto. Oh wow! Yeah, for Vancouver, mm -hmm. and we we we'll do a happy dance. Wow. That wow. you have you have received your title deed, right? Why? Because mm -hmm. I'll say uh, selling land is fine, selling properties is fine, but until you have received your title deed, mm -hmm. you approve that you have given you know up to even four million Kenya shillings. Until you have that document, you're not settled. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Oh, that's very interesting. Now, tell Maybe. me something. So, mm -hmm. what separates Optiven mm -hmm. from other real estate companies in Kenya. What is so special about Optiven? Great. Yeah, I have something. I, I have something uh, that, uh, in fact, five things that separate Optiven from others. Mm. I will say them very quickly. I will okay. not explain. Yes. But I will say them. Number one, Optiven is known for excellent services. Okay. You come to Optiven, you will know that you're in Optiven. Right. And thank God, I, I I had some some people here. They are coming to Kenya. Mm -hmm. They will tell me if I'm talking the truth. Or I'm, or I'm lying. Right. They will experience for themselves. Okay. Number two, we are award-winning company. Only this year, we have scooped so many awards. And again, when they come, they will see those awards. That's you know, mm -hmm. lining up. Mm -hmm. And the best, best award I, I, I loved, it, it was for Dr. George Washuri. He was the best CEO of the year. Wow. The best, the Shuri. best, the yes. best employer. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now that number three, yes. we are known for you know giving back to the society. We don't just eat Love alone, or you, yeah. we don't just you know at the, we sell around and then we we go back and tukule tu peke yetu. Apana what tu nafanyanga? We have something a nam in Optiven we call it Optiven Foundation. Okay. An Optiven Foundation, kazi yao ni kusaidia watoto mayatima, mm -hmm. wow. ni kusaidia wow. wale wamama na wazee wako wazee sana, mm -hmm. wanawapea food, mm -hmm. na ni kusaidia wale hawajiwezi, uh, ha, uh, wale mavu, mm -hmm. tunawapea mobility in terms of wheelchairs, mm -hmm. oh. iyo ndiyo kazi ya Optiven Foundation, mm -hmm. na tunapea uh, uh, wasichana, uh, pads, you know, we, we, that is the work uh, Optiven Foundation does. Yeah. Now, as an investor, you become uh, immediately a giver mm -hmm. when you invest with Optiven. Why? Because 5% ya pesa, amba unawekeza kwa Optiven, 5% of that money goes to Optiven Foundation. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Yo, we, we don't, we are to, are to, we don't uh, argue about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we want to give back to the society. Right. Uh, number number four, we are known for delivering uh, our promises. Right. We, with this, I mean, if you buy land, mm -hmm. una expect title deed mm -hmm. And there are those months that we say this project, title deed will come uh, out uh, in three months, in mm -hmm. six months, depending on the properties. Right. Mm -hmm. If we say yours is coming in three months, it is three months, and not three months and a half. Okay. Wow. Yes. All right. So that's how we are known for delivering our promises. Optiven is known for that. In fact, that is not even a, it's not even a debate. Mm. It's not debatable. It's not, yes. that's not debatable. Yeah. It is known for, for that. We, we have that stand. Mm -hmm. And I said I have given so many title deeds 
in uh, in Canada and it made me feel very good mm -hmm. because until you see your friend being given a title deed uh, you will not want to trust me Inna much eh yeah. 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 but ukimuona nimempia title deed unasema yes. let me let me try if she got it eh yeah. yeah. i can also yeah. get it yes. and i'll be very happy to come back here and this prophetically to bring title deeds for the people who have bought right now. Amen. Yeah, so if you are buying, buy right now. So that when I'm coming again, I will be bringing your title, title deeds. Title and deed. guess what? Mm -hmm. Some other title deeds to mezipeleka kwa manyumba. Okay. Wow. You know, clients wanasema, oh, okay, sorry, my, my, I have a tight schedule. Na muliza, can I come? Can I deliver it? And we have delivered them in their houses. They have taken photos in their houses. And these clients are very, very happy to receive their title deeds from Kenya. Okay. And num number I'm wish you here, number five. Yes. Uh, we are known for value-added properties. So what do you mean? Value-added value, value added properties. What we are mashamba, but ni bear land. Tuka hi meza. Right? Right. Unaambiwa hiyo diyo shamba yako. Okay? Okay. In that shamba, mm -hmm. utahitaji maji, mm -hmm. utahitaji stima, utahitaji security. Ndiyo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Utahitaji caretaker. Right. So optive na ikupeangi bear land kama hii meza. Mhm. Mm optive wa, wanakupea security. Tunapanda miti, wow. tunatengeneza mabarabara za ndani vizuri. Yes. Tunapanda miti. Yes. Tunaweka maji, tunaweka stima. Kwa other, some other project tunaweka cabros, najua ukuzijaona vumbi. Mm -hmm. Sasa hizo zetu zinakaa hivyo. Njaona vumbi mahali, njia kutana na vumbi. Mm -hmm. So kwa hizo properties zenye zikona cabro, mm -hmm. kunanga vumbi. So wewe mkandedi ya duko hapa, ama mkenya na kwa hapa. I invest there because kama hana vumbi hapa, mm -hmm. I invest in our platinum projects. Mm -hmm. Hata patana na vumbi because they, are, they have cabros all through. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some other nimesema swimming pool. Yes. And CCTV. So security, security. eco oh, tight. Oh. Okay. Hiyo property in some other project tunaweka perimeter wall. Oh, Just nice. to enhance on security. And guess what? Our gates are manned 24/7. Okay. Yes, we have professional guards. Excellent. Okay? Yes. So when you are there, mm -hmm. you are comfortable. Ni wewe tu utaleta tu mawe. Ujenge na ukae. Okay. Ya, yeah, kuna atiku, atikuuliza masai, wakuchota maji ya kwa wapi, wakugada kwa wapi, mkokoteni ya kuchota maji kwa wapi. No, 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 no. no. You, it is catered for. It is zote ziko planned. It, 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 it is zote ziko planned. Very good. Very good. And so for the sake of our viewers. Yes. So, uh, let's say my colleague. Mm -hmm. Thomas. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Thomas. Now that you've explained, yes, would like to buy a piece of land. Where, 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 where can he find one? Okay. Yeah. Which uh, places do you have? Okay. Mm -hmm. Our properties are divided in five ways okay. or five five uh, levels, mm -hmm. and we have the cabro ones and the CCTV one. We call it platinum. Those are our prime prime, mm -hmm. and we have three of them. We have Vipingo, right? We have Tatu City, and we have Malindi. Okay. Ukitaka ku. ku Kutopatana na vumbi, mm -hmm. invest in this. So Malindi is the coastal region? Coastal here? region. Right. Vipingo and Malindi is the coastal region mm -hmm. of, uh, of, of uh, Kenya. Kenya. Yeah, that's where you see the ocean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, we have gold properties. Mm -hmm. Gold right. properties, they are gated community. Mm -hmm. uh, everything with this, minus Cabro and CCTV. Okay. So right. hapa vumbi kidogo. Mm -hmm. But gold properties... They are controlled, they are fenced, they have solar street rights. You know, those are gold properties. And some of them, we have them in Vipingo, okay. in Nakuru, in Sika, mm -hmm. in Nairobi, Kimuka Ngong. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Kitengera, those are all gold properties. Right. We have another one called Silver. And Silver, we do, we do uh, Maram Roads, we have water, the articulated in on every plot, we have boreholes, we have fenced, and these uh, the, the, the ones that we have fenced with electric is the uh, Nanyuki one. And the reason why it's because we are opposite all Pejeta Conservancy, oh, wow. the Mount Kenya World Divested. Right. And um, we have secured that property. Mm -hmm. This is uh, silver 
property. Right. We have others called bronze and sapphire, mm -hmm. and we call this this uh, land for land. They are called for land banking. Okay. Land banking is where you just buy, and you leave it to develop. And these ones, they are they are from five hundred down. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. The the ones for gold properties, they are from one million. This is Kenyan money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's Nadua, good that you you, you Nadua, have to, yeah, exactly. currency. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is Kenyan money. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenya, shillings. Kenya shillings. Kenya shillings. Kenya shillings. Kenya shillings. Yes. So the gold properties they are from one million up, okay, mm -hmm. and the and the and the from silver now you can get uh, the gold down down down, up to we have a property of one twenty nine thousand Kenya shillings. Wow, that is uh, like three thousand dollars or something. Something approximately yeah, something like around that. that. Yeah. yeah, so. We have properties on this high, and we have other properties on this, depending on how uh, the ability, mm -hmm. depending on, on the purpose mm -hmm. you want for the property, Optiven has everything for everyone. So, you, so this way you are, you are accommodating almost everybody yes, yes. within their budget, yes, yes. what they can afford. Maybe I can mention something else. Yes. We have properties that we call freehold and leasehold. Okay. Tu sana Thomas ni mukongo. Yes. Yeah. My colleague, I'm talking Congo. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye
kwenye Rwanda pia wengi wako hapo kuna wasomali wako hapo kuna wengi wako hapo mimi kipekee ningi advice watu wakuje wa investi Kenya ni peaceful country na jua hata mimi ba after interview tutakuwa na maongezi na wewe kwa ofisi yule yule naweza kupata ka peace kangu hapo Kenya hapo sawa na nikikuja hapo nikikuja kwa kwa vacation nikupeleke uone nipeleke nione na nimependa Kenya kuna kanyama choma kana kwanga kanafanyika hapo eh nyama choma ni mingi na hiyo kabaridi baridi hapo kwenu nimependa sana wow karibu sana Kenya asante yes yes Yeah yes. so Jane I have another question. Yes. So to say me uh, what did I want to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hapa pa sasa to say me Thomas amechukua hiyo lease hold. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Na mnaweza mjengea. Can you can you build? Uh-huh. So he's here in Canada yeah. but he wants to invest back home. Yes. Does Optiven offer that uh, facility? Yeah. Yeah. Yes we do. Mhm. Tomaso usi usikuwe na shaka kabisa. Mhm. Najua nikikwambia ukuje uishi Kenya saa hii utaniambia pana uko na kazi zako unafanya Canada. Mm-hmm. Na ninajua huna muda mwingi wa kukujanga Kenya, kujenga, kuangalia project zako ndio unarudi Canada. Yes. Mm-hmm. We have you covered. Okay. By you know having Optiven homes in place. Ah, okay. Yes. Already made or yes. sasa anataka uh, or maybe he wants his own design. That's yes. yeah. So what we do mm-hmm. in in a, in a, in our uh, platinum and in our gold properties mm-hmm. we have designs uh, okay. in place mm-hmm. yenye mtu anachagua okay. so that the property aina manyumba zingine refu zingine fupi okay. eh, okay. iko iko the same okay. as uh, as the way Optiven has designed okay. yes mm-hmm. remember those are gated community mm-hmm. na tutaki manyumba zingine zirefuke zingine ziko yeah. sijui where yeah Yeah so you choose from that mm-hmm. and in other in other uh, projects you can just give you them uh, or the contractors your design mm-hmm. and they can build for you okay. and guess what it's in faces okay. so utaambiwa leta pesa yote tukujenge hapana we go face by face face by face wanamaliza hii level wanakuambia haya tomaso tuko hii leo sasa prepare now the dip- another deposit yes another level mpaka wakupatie kifunguo yako okay. yes and optiven does optiven homes does very good houses mm. Mm. okay so i heard that uh, you will be meeting the kenyans uh, uh, tell us what what is your plan for tomorrow actually okay tomorrow we have uh, a meeting that will be meeting kenyans in montreal I know Jen we have done zooms sasa watu Kenya wananijua si mnanijua jamani mm-hmm. naomba to meet kesho ndio tuongee more mm-hmm. na ndio mbook your prods nataka nikienda huko ni prepare your titles i bring them next when i'm coming here karibuni sana tomorrow god bless you yeah another thing how can you be reached i can be reached i have a local number maybe hiyo ndio itakuwa mzuri sana mm-hmm. uh, 416 770 47 13 uh, 416770 na majina yangu ni Jane Kiarie from Optiven okay. hmm. so ladies and gentlemen my viewers you've heard from the horse's mouth yes. Jane Kiarie from Optiven again the number one real estate company in Kenya Africa and now going global mm-hmm. merci beaucoup Thank you very much my colleague you can take over Yes eh uh, wa tazamaji wa baraza media tv eh uh, ama ukipenda ipe bm tv nilikuwa na mwanzangu Jenny Nyoike kutoka Kenya tulikuwa tuna host sister yetu Jenny uh, kutoka pia Kenya ametuambia kwa urefu uh, kuhusu kununua land huko nyumbani ni kweli mm. uh, watu wengi tunakuja huku ngambo tunafanya kazi lakini tukumbuki pia kama uzee inakuja mm. na ni vizuri ku prepare ka kitu huko nyumbani nyaka ya uzee kikaribia karibia unaenda kukaa huko ukingoja siku zako Mungu ambazo amekuandikia basi tunawakaribisha ukitaka kupata information mingi kuja eh, contact baraza media tutakuelekeza mahali utampata Jane mm. na unaweza ukapata hiyo piece of land yako huko nyumbani Kenya na ukafanya maisha yako mm. yeah and uh, once again this is Jane Nyoike the host of Baraza Media TV in Montreal Canada we can be reached at uh, 514 688 3983 direct to Jane Yoike. Thank you very much. 
Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Santé, Santé. 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 Relax.